But if it's in weather, Paul O'Connell has managed to put a bit of pressure on, on Wayne Barnes here at all, or whether Wayne Barnes has got into their head as well, whether they created an issue that doesn't exist. But Ryan Jones will have to drive that path to compete. Well, here we go. Can Munster reset, refocus and re-energise once six, again? Six People know there's opportunities to score tries out there. And this hadn't really taken advantage yet. That was Doug Harlow to Warwick, now Doyle. Keith Earls is outside him, already seen his pace and he switches inside, it's a poor ball, it's Warwick. Uh, a little bit too clear by that time from Dowling. And they try to settle things down again, Paul O'Connor. It's one of those moments it's harder not to find someone than to find someone. Smashing into contact, here's O'Gara, now Dougie Harlow pops up in midfield, and again the influential Leamy gets it out to Marcus Horn, he loves finding that position on the wide outside as Marcus Horan. He scored a couple of tries in the Heineken Cup. Here's John Hayes. Another man with great work ethic, John Hayes. Roman O'Gara, here's the Phoebe Matthew, the family outside to Alan Quinlan, and it's a poor ball. Ball went backwards. Matthew gets a chance to go again. He bounces off one tackle. That's brilliant by Matthew. Eventually tackled by Sonny Parker. Now O'Leary down the blind side to O'Gara. Here's Keith Earls. Pressure's building. O'Connor. Can they withstand this pressure though? The Ospreys. Mappy wants more. He's always darting and looking for that gap and looking to get through it. And here's Paul Warwick. Warwick checks inside. Alan Jones. And it's Paul Warwick who scored the score. What a super try. And Paul Warwick has been sublime. But it's Osprey's ball. And Mike Phillips has his hands on it. Oh, oh. He goes straight to Warwick. Warwick, he loves a drop of goal, you know. Try this against Sale and Edgley Park. And he gets one here. He's been so impressive. And there he is. He's back in the 15 slot. Wait for the opening. He looked, lifted his head up. Had a look. And just drilled it. Stay behind. One gets away with it, the other doesn't. It's controversy there now. It's Wallace out to Matthew. Now it's Dougie Holland, the ace poacher, the ace finisher. For the All Blacks and for Munster, O'Leary outside, and it's pepper spray in the faces of the Ospreys, and it's the captain that scores the crucial try. <laughs> Big cheers from the far side, they're all behind O'Gara. Feel the weight and pressure from your teammates around you as well, driving through. Pick up by Leamy to O'Leary. Numbers fanning out to the right-hand side for Munster. They're all there, and it's Mick O'Driscoll who's held up, and he still gets the offload away, and it's Maffey. Maffey, what an offload by Maffey to Keith Earls. And now it is well beyond situation critical for the Ospreys. Good drive. The peasant mind looking outside. Look at that, takes two guys out. Backhanded flip behind from Maffey to his centre partner, Earls, to score. But watch this offload. Fend goes outside the tackler, again draws in Tommy Bow, releases Earls on the outside. Great play by Murphy. Great pass there under pressure from Ogara. But what a wonderful offload. You won't see many better offloads than that. Well, the reputation of the monster dynasty grows here as Keith Earls goes for his second try in the space of 30 seconds. So close from Earls, Mike Phillips it was, charging across to make the tackle. They go in for it, great cover tackle. Mm. Well then, I think that's a try. His legs are in the air. Another interesting one for Jeff Warren. As he touched the white line, the knees go up. The knees go up, the legs are in the air. What a great effort from both players. Great cover tackle by Phillips. It's whether or not he glad his foot and his knee touches that white line before he gets the ball down. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. A great effort by, by Earls. Get an opportunity. Good work by Dowling. Slap that ball back. Good pace. By, by Earls to get across. 
desperate effort. Good balance as well to be able to finish that. But there's Dowling doing the work. Perhaps you right back. You know if things are going your way. This is a wonderful performance by Munster. Well, we would be watching this thinking, this is some team. Surely not another one. Metronomic, the best metronomic. Really a consummate performance by the team of the whole, a consummate kicking performance by Ron Regatta. 7 for 7, you can't ask for any more than that. Into the final 20 seconds. And the crowd enjoying the opportunity to get themselves into full voice. Come once and again, almost through Marcus Horan. That's it, final play of the game, and well, does that sum up the game? The turnover ball, the clever little offload. How many times have you seen those turnovers? How often have you seen those turnovers end up in points for Munster? And they wrap it all up with another try. It looks like it was knocked forward there. Advantage to the Ospreys here. And it's Johnny Voughton inside to Tommy Vaux. The winner of the Grand Slam with Ireland, but Hammer here in Ireland. So up to another steal at the end as well. Well, that's it. What a consummate, comprehensive performance here by Munster. They have demolished the Ospreys in Fulman Park by 43 points to nine now. Set a huge marker down. The rest of it will be watching this with interest. The Ospreys very much in form, huge confidence, huge self-belief. As you mentioned, a consummate for all-round performance, dynamic, they destroyed Ospreys. Ospreys came looking looking for an opportunity to upset upset the odds, but they couldn't do it today up against the repressible Munster.